Are you a ghost? Did you ghost him? Did you ghost him? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you did. <laughs> the Tower. I guess things needed to change. Did things need to change? What was it about the old situation? Six of Pentacles. Mm. <laughs> so my question was, what was it about the old situation that you needed to tear it down? Right? What about the old situation did you need to tear down? Why did the tower need to come? Because you're looking for Six of Pentacles, right? You're looking for that equal give and take. You're looking for reciprocity. Reciprocity. Oh, and I was just sitting here thinking, is it is it career, right? Is it is it career or is it love? And then the Six of Cups. So the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So there's two Sixes. Prosperity, abundance, right? The Six of Cups. So yeah, an equal give and take with love in, in, in the mix, right? Mm. An equal give and take with love in the mix. So what's coming next? The tower is passed. What lesson was learned? Or what message, what message, what lesson? Eight of Swords. So there's some messages that are coming in. <laughs> and these are beautiful messages. Look how freaking magical this card is. It has a flying unicorn and a rainbow and clouds and the universe and the stars. What else is in this card? I mean, like, that is the universe transpiring in your favor, right? The universe transpiring in your favor the three of wands is that long-term view right making shit happen you're making shit happen good for you making shit happen i like that i like it a lot good for you if you resonated give me a heart the high referent the queen of pentacles and the four of cups so the Hierophant, this is, this is like, you're really in touch with your spiritual energy. You're in touch with your gifts. <clears throat> you're practicing. No, you're not just practicing. You're performing your gifts, right? For others to see. Not just practicing, baby, right? You're performing. That means you have practiced to the point that you feel comfortable doing it in front of other people. And then that brings you in this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles energy. Mm. I like it a lot. I love it. I'm thinking a little Billy Cyrus. <laughs> I want some more of it, right? Um, so then you got the Four of Cups. So I feel like this is a bit of foundation. And then the Ten of Pentacles. So you're working on your foundation, right? You're putting those pieces together. And when you do, bam, the 10 of pentacles, the, the abundance that you've been looking for is just, it's there and it's not just there, like in the other tarot decks where it's all fucking, excuse me, it's all like rainbows and you know, it's got the, 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 the couple right in the middle and you know, like all this, 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 stuff that's supposed to be what we want in the background, right? It's not that. That is powerful. Look at, look at the grid in the background. Look at that puzzle. Look at that maze and look at that Taurus, financial Taurus energy, security, luxury of the desires that you want and that you've wanted and desired for decades is finally here. Claim it, claim it, claim it, man, <laughs> claim it, because it is here, it is here. Nine of Swords, okay. Nine of Swords. And the High Priestess, the Fortune Teller. Of course, you know, the Nine of Swords. 
I'm feeling this is you. Like there's there's like, you know, Ten of Swords is the completion. Like you're right there. Like you like the 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 monster is in the hole. Like the victory is right fucking there. It's right there. Right? It's 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 right there in front of you. The victory is right there in front of you. I'm gonna just pull one more final card to see what's anything else that needs to come out of this message. Ace of Cups. Self-love, self-preservation. Self-love is not selfish. If you know your worth, you move through life effortlessly with less resistance, then you already know that ain't for me. And you know what? I ain't sorry about it either. That ain't for me and I ain't sorry about it either, right? That ain't for me. My cup is full, thank you. <laughs> I am really liking this energy. So, if you like this message, please give me a little bit of energy in return. Um, that would be much appreciated. If you resonated with it in any way, let me know. How how did this like you know how did it hit you? Um, are you are you going through some things that that really like were par parallel with the reading? Um, very very abundant, very beautiful energy out of that. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy this brisk, beautiful October weather. I hope you guys are grounding. I hope you're meditating. I hope you're aligning. I hope you're clearing out old energies. I hope that you're centering yourself. And I hope that you are revisiting, you know, different, different things in your life and really reflecting um, and growing, right? If you're ever wondering if you're in a, in a good place, ask yourself, how much growth have you had lately? And then if you haven't had very much growth, is it your responsibility or is there something around you that's causing resistance? That's the last message of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Many blessing of abundance to you and your families. Happy Navarre. Happy day, Navarians and local areas. <laughs>